Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the fifth and the final part of the complete Flutter movie application using TMDB API. So we have covered a lot of things in the four parts and as you can see we have made a very beautiful user interface. It's looking uh, just like a real application but we are missing one thing that we should go on our description page when I'm clicking any movie tile. So for that I'm going to create a new file inside the lib folder and let's create a new then file and let's call it description dot dart and let's import material dot dart and let's create a stateless widget only let's call this as description right and it is going to take a lot of things so let's write them so first of all it is going to take the name of the movie so final string name then it is going to take the description, then the banner URL, then poster URL, then the vote that is the average rating vagera. So vote, then launch on. So launching date it is going to take. So launch on. Let's create a constructor for them. yes now let's return a scaffold with a background color colors dot black let's return a body with a container and inside this container we are going to return a list view and this list view is going to have some children so first children is going to be the banner right which will cover the complete width of our app screen so first one will be a container this container will be having a height of 250 and it will be having a child of stack right and the stack we know that stack has children of position so children then I'm going to add position and this position will have a child of container container of same height that is 250 so height of 250 then width will be the width of the screen so width will be media query dot of context dot size dot width perfect now we can give it a child that will be the banner so child will be a network image network image and this network image oh sorry we it will be image dot network because it is a child of a container so image dot network and source we have to provide so source we have already taken so it will be banner URL and I'm talking about this one, right? So banner URL we are going to get from a different screen. Perfect, right? Next thing is we have to define a fit. So it is going to fit that container. So box fit dot cover, box fit dot cover. Yes, we have covered almost 70% uh, of this description screen. Next thing is next child of this stack is going to be uh, that rating right so on that banner only I want to uh, write the rating so position is ending over here so after this position I'm going to add one more position uh, which will be having a child of uh, modified text modified text and text I'm going to keep as uh, average rating will be then add and you can write vote right just add a semicolon and uh, this position let's save it first we are having an error yes instead of semicolon I don't have to add anything yes perfect now let's do one thing let's go to trending uh, let me go come to trending yes 
and inside it we had written an on tap function where which we have to write now we had kept it empty so over here i'm going to add a navigator dot off right so let's add navigator navigator dot push and in the route you have to define a material page route material page route builder will be a context and it is going to be a description route so description let's add it let's import it first let's add a semicolon first then let's try to we are not getting anything let's go to description and let's copy this and let's paste it now i think yes now we are yes we are getting perfect let's save it and to this description we have to give a lot of things so first thing that it is going to ask for is the name then description then banner let's add them one by one so come to trending and first of all we are going to give it the name and name is going to be trending that is a list of movies trending at index that means for every index movie every movie and it is going to be of name title so for trending movies we were having title right but for tv shows we were having what we were having we were having original name perfect next thing is that it asked for is the banner url let's add that banner url also that we have to copy the same uh, this syntax and the reason for writing this syntax i have already covered in part 3 i think right let's paste it and then create a plus sign and we have to write trending at index at backdrop path backdrop path then the next thing it asks for is the poster url poster url add the same thing then a plus sign then we can add this same thing copy this paste it over here instead of this backdrop path you have to write poster path yes next thing that we have to give it is the description description and description is going to be the same thing instead of backdrop path you have to write uh, overview right so you can get this thing uh, when you will print the uh, map or you will print that list then you will get that description is there inside the overview key right so you can print it right okay the next thing that you have to provide is the vote that is the average rating so let me write vote then you have to write the same thing and instead of the backdrop path you have to give the vote average so this is the again the next data holder that we will that you will you that you can get when you will print that list uh the same thing that we were having uh, like title then poster path then backdrop path again the next thing is a vote average right so you will get that when you will print that map so the next thing is the launch date so launch on and you have to give it the same thing and the key for this one is the release date right so let's save this and let's try to click on trending movies and i'm getting an error double is not a subtype of type string okay let me open the run and where i'm getting the error let me see okay in the vote vote is a double yeah vote is a double so we have to convert that into string so come to trending dot dot and in this vote you have to write dot to string save it and again try to click on trending movies and we are getting average rating over here but i want to keep the average rating over here not at the top so what i will do come on description and in the position for the rating you have to write bottom let's give a spacing of 10 so save it now average rating is at the bottom again i am not satisfied with the ui let's try to change the ui so let's go on browser and search for star emoji star emoji 
and I'm adding this star emoji for the rating so that it looks a little good yes let's save it yeah it looks good let's add one more space perfect you can change the size so it's totally up to you let's change it so size let's keep it uh, 18 save it yeah it's perfect now now the next thing that we have to add is a simple sized box to have a spacing so come to list view and inside the children of this list view where this container is ending you have to add a sized box so sized box will be of height 15 yes next thing let's add a container where the title of my movie will be there so give it a padding edge insects dot all give a padding of 10 and we have to give it a child of the modified text and modified text is going to take a text of the name so name can be null so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a if condition so if name is not equal to null add a question mark then i'm going to put a name otherwise i'm going to put a name of not uh, loaded right so not loaded let's save it yes oxygen name is there let's try to give it a size of 24 perfect good let's add one more container so after this we have to add uh, yes we have to add a container Uh, we have to add a comma before this container yes so to this container also we have to add a padding but only from the left side so padding edge insets dot only from left 10 then give it a child so to this child also we have to provide a modified text and the text is going to be releasing on and add a plus sign and you can add launch on right give it a size of 14 save it and i'm getting releasing on uh, 5th of december or uh, and here I'm getting the releasing on this date, right? Now the next thing is we have to add a row. Why a row? Because I have to add a poster also, then description also. So the next child of this list view is going to be a container. So let's add a row. So row will be children. And inside this children, we have to add a container. To this container, you have to give a height of 200 and a width of 100 and to this you have to provide a child of image dot network and give the uh, uh, url as the poster url let's save it i'm getting the poster right so you can give the padding by your own also let's try to uh, give it a margin edge insets dot all five okay looks good you can change the height and width it's uh, totally up to you right so the next child of this row is going to be a container so child sorry a container child then uh, modified text and the text is going to be the description give it a size of 18 right let's try to save it and i'm getting that this text is getting overflowed so to cover it i'm going to cover this container with a widget called the flexible which uh, is going to show your magic and perfect it is handling this overflowing uh, error right perfect amazing so i hope you like this tutorial and we have covered almost everything 
and i don't think that uh, it is uh, necessary to cover this uh, adding navigator off to all this thing that you can do by your own i think right so you have to what you have to do you have to add a navigator dot off to uh, this uh, top rated movies and this popular tv shows popular tv movies uh, okay we have done a error over here let's go to tv and yes we have to change it perfect perfect so like okay here i am getting an error let's see what this error is okay we are not getting uh, the name and description so what we can do is let me see the exact error what i can do is if the name is uh, null that means i am not able to uh, retrieve the name that i am not going to show this tile only right so what i can do is go to trending and you can do this for the uh, top rated movies and popular tv shows also i am going to return uh, this uh, container if and only if the name is not equal to null that means uh let me copy this and let me come to this child paste it is not equal to null add a question mark then after this container is getting ended uh, where it is ending mm, yes over here so i have to add an empty container right let's save it perfect all those movies uh, whose data was not uh, available completely those uh, movies i am not going to show only right so now you can click on any movie and you can get a beautiful description screen right let me minimize it and let me show you little bigger yeah perfect rest of the things you can add by your own that is adding a navigator dot off to the tv shows then top rated everything you can add right the main thing that was retrieving the data from the api that we have already covered right so i think this much is enough and i really hope that you like this tutorial and if you want such kind of tutorials that you have to comment down below and you have to give me the feedback you have to give me the suggestion then you have to also uh, join my telegram channel because i am really active on telegram and if you want to give me suggestions feedback or errors you are having you are getting errors then you can also reach out to me right so yes so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot